guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get really big voluminous hair with a bit of wave and kick in it. I uploaded a picture to Instagram just the other day showing you my new hair roller system. It's called the O and everyone really wanted a review so I'm going to kind of review it today and show you how I get this hair look. So to start out I actually washed my hair um, and then I applied a heat protectant spray. I used the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Shine Spray. And then I also applied a mousse from my root all the way through to the ends. And I used the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Full Form Mousse. And then I blow dried my hair and brushed it out. So that's how I like to start. Okay, so I'm going to show you the tool that I used to get my hair like I did the other day. I used this. It's by Cloud9. It's called the O. It comes in this big container. It's absolutely beautiful. The old hair roller set that I had was tiny. It only had five rollers in it and it took ages to heat up. Um, could only do the top part of my head, which was really all that I needed, but this has, um, it's just so much better. It takes three seconds to heat up each roller and it's got all different sizes. So um, such a good investment if you really like big um, hair. So it's actually really different to most normal wave. It looks like this. It's got this um, pod, I guess, kind of thing. It's um, got like a little button in there that when you sit the roller in it, it activates something or other and heats up the roller. The roller has a little black dot in the top and when it's hot, it turns red. So when the roller is in your hair, you can see that it's still hot and when, then when the red dot turns back to black, you know that um, you can take your hair rollers out. So I'm just gonna set this up and then show you how I apply them. So now I've got everything set up here. My kit came with three different size rollers, 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 50 millimeter, and four of each, and then um, a set of large clips and a set of small clips, and then of course the O thing. So I've got it turned on, and I'm gonna show you how I apply it. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but it came with this, and I didn't try it last time. It's the O Amplify, Amplify, Amplify Spray, um, and you spray this on directly before you put the rollers on. Ooh. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I've got my mirror here. Let's get started. I'm going to take my fingers and draw a line back to just the back part of my head and then section it off. To clip that part of my hair away. So now I've got like this mohawk bit left. I'm just going to start with a bit at the front and then use your finger to section it off. I'm actually gonna brush this bit forward because at the front of my head, I like my hair to sit down and out rather than up because I've got a large forehead and I like it to sort of cover a little bit. So now I'm gonna try the O spray. Oh. Um, now I'm gonna take one of the rollers. This is the large 50 millimeter one. Pop it in the O and then it blinks with the green light when it's heating and then when it's ready it beeps again and it feels warm you can feel it heating up and the little dot on it has started to go red it's red so you know that it's nice and warm so I've put it on top of my hair and I'm rolling backwards and then I'm gonna take a big clip and just clip it in and I'm gonna repeat this all the way back to this part that I've sectioned Now, so I've got these four done, and I did them um, with the large ones at the top. I'm going to do some side pieces now. So these ones I'm going to put horizontally from my head and um, use the medium sized ones.
Now I'm doing the bottom layer with the smallest ones. I like to use the smallest ones on the bottom layers because this is the longest hair and it's underneath the others so I feel like it gets weighed down more so the smaller ones are going to keep it tighter for longer. This is a great look. A bit futuristic and I go from underneath again. Now I'm going to switch it off. All the rollers are in. As you can see, there's the red dots on some of them. This one that I did first started cooling down, so that one can be taken out, but I'll, I'll just wait until they're all done. So now I might check Instagram, check Facebook, check my emails, um, and then I'll come back in about 20 minutes when these are all cooled and we can take them out and continue. Okay, now they're all done. It's been about 20 minutes. Oh, I'm going to start taking out the rollers. Okay, so once it's brushed, I'm going to use my fingers to position it where I want. Just sort of roughly part it about there. And can you see how where the front bit I put flat against my forehead, it's sort of sitting across my forehead, which is what I want. Holy lord, that's big hair. Good, that's the aim. I secretly love how this hairspray smells. Not that much. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Paris Elnette Satin. Mm, it doesn't taste as good as that smells, but... Good little one to keep in your purse. So that's what my hair looks like using the O to create the volume and sort of the blow wave effect. So now I'm going to go in with my waver. I'm just going to add a little bit more shape to the ends because I want something a little bit extra and I want it to stay for a bit longer. So I'm going to use my Cloud9 waving wand now. I'm just going to turn it on by pressing the on button. As you can see, this one's not like a normal way um, curling wand. It's sort of the same width the whole way. I'm just going to take smaller pieces of hair and um, twist it around the wand just to get a bit more shape at the ends. Might just section a piece off like this. It's already ready, so once the little light turns from red to green, it's ready. And I'm going to wrap it flat around the wand and roll it up. You can see it's got a bit more wave there. I'm going to do that around the rest of my head, just trying to get a little bit more shape here. Go back and do it with a few top layers. Same with this side. So, that's the end of the makeup. Well, not makeup, sorry. Makeup for your hair. It's a hair tutorial. I hope that you guys really liked it. That's how I use my the O and add a bit of excitement to the ends. So I hope that you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.